Yep, this is a big box. And today we're gonna be unboxing a really cool office chair. But this is not just a gaming chair like I've done this channel before. This is definitely more on the upper class, like elegant version of office chairs. It's mostly meant for comfort and look. I'll have a link in the description below if you wanna go check out their website yourself. They have a ton of different models. This is just the one that I like the most. I thought it looked the nicest, uh, at least for my aesthetic and for my kind of, I guess, office. So that being said, let's get her open. Oh, there's one side. Okay. There's one and there's the other. Now by the size of this box, I almost wonder if it's coming pre put together. That'd be really cool, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, yeah, I see the bottom. The feet are detached. But I think for the most part, the top is gonna be put together. So here is the metal feet. We put the wheels on, put that to the side. Something heavy in here, probably the mechanism for leaning back, forth, back and forth. This is all completely wrapped up. Here's the wheels. The hydraulic system here. Nice, nice all stainless steel. It looks like some type of cap. I'm assuming that goes on top of the the wheels or whatever you call it. And as expected in the other package here, it was the, it's like the entire hydraulic system that lets you go back, back and forth in the chair. It's kind of hard to see here, but we'll get a better look in a second. Ugh. Just want to get everything out of the box. All right, so here's the main seat itself. Surprisingly, it didn't come with any instructions that I can see in the box, but on the bright side, based on what I'm seeing here, the only hardware they gave is four screws, which must be to this system here that will connect to the bottom of the chair. So should be relatively easy. So we got this bottom piece on here. Now I believe we just gotta put the wheels in the sockets here. So let's do that real quick. Okay, got the wheels on there. We'll put these down. And I wonder, this must just, yeah, that just lays on there, okay. That should stay on. Just like that. So here we are. I'm a bit sweaty after putting that together. But here was a 360 look at the chair. It does look very premium. It's even got like a nice little metal tag on here. Nice little tag that says the name. I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but it's K-I-N-N-L-S is the makers of this chair. So I don't wanna try to butcher their name. But yeah, in terms of feel, quality, look, this is definitely a premium brand. Kind of like your Herman Miller's, if you will. But let's take a seat in it for the first time, see how it feels, how the hydraulics work, all that good stuff. Oh, so it looks, I think the lock is in place right now. We do have a couple switches here. So that's up or down. That's the highest it goes, lowest it goes. Kind of wish it was a little bit more of a variant in terms of its low and high, but it's nice that it has that. Oh, okay, I figured it out. So there is a, it's almost like a pin. Ooh, <laughs> it's almost like a pin you pull out and that's a locking mechanism. So this does lean pretty far back. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over either. Very comfortable. So you do have those functions like those typical gaming chairs. So if you do wanna 
lean your head back and take a little nap, this is a comfortable, very nice chair to do so in. And you just lean forward, take this pin, push it in, and now you're locked in place. It does have good lumbar support as well. It's not customizable, so don't be you know, expecting some type of switch that allows the lumbar support to come out the back some more if you do have back pain like that. But I will say, by default, there's a lot of cushion in the back, as, as well in the lower back especially. So I'm not really feeling any lower back pain or anything of the sort. I was kind of worried about the arm cushions because looking at the website, they are one size fits all. They do not adjust, they don't go up and down. And if you've seen some of my other videos on these office chairs, my biggest issue normally is the armrest just not being soft enough, cushy enough, and they kind of just wear down over time. Now, obviously I can't tell you right now if it's gonna survive over time with my elbows rubbing on these, but I can definitely tell you these are extremely comfortable and they're a good height, at least for me. Obviously, since they're not customizable, they might not be the right height for you, for your desk, whatever the situation but I am pleasantly surprised at how well they feel. They're very sturdy and they have a lot of cushion. So even though they are kind of a sharper, you know, it's not like a flat plane to lay your arm on. It is kind of like an edge. It's not a problem. I don't really feel the edge because of how much padding is in the arm cushions themselves. The backrest as well, the headrest, for me is the perfect height. Of course, this depends on how tall you are, but for me, <laughs> okay, but hold on. But for me, it's definitely the right height and it's very padded, uh, very, very cushiony, super comfortable. I don't have any complaints whatsoever about the headrest. E even a lot of times too with chairs, I feel like the headrest needs to come out a little bit farther. Like you really have to lean back to touch it. Not the case here. This is like the perfect amount of, if I wanted to lay back and have a cushion for my head to be on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold this for right now. If I wanted to lay back and have a cushion for my head to, to lay on, this is the best way to do it, uh, or the best way to have it, I should say. Also, the swivel feels super smooth. I'm not touching anything, and I'll just continue to glide, which is really nice. It shows that it's got a very premium hydraulic system. The wheels feel very glidey. I'm on a pretty high carpet right now, so I'm not expecting it to be like flying across the floor, but I will say that the wheels do feel nice. They don't feel like they're catching on anything and this, the actual stability of the chair overall is very great. I'm a heavier guy, so a lot of chairs sometimes have a little bit of like a rocking feeling to them where they kind of like sway side to side sometimes, and I'm not getting that at all. I feel very sturdy in this chair. So I think that all comes back to how premium it is. It's got the stainless steel legs for where the wheels connect to, and all around the construction is just top notch. So could not be happier with the chair. So once again, if you would like to check these guys out, I have a link in the description below if you'd like to go buy one for yourself. They have tons of different models and colors. This is just one of their many, and they were super sweet to send this to me for a video for you guys. <laughs> Finn wants to say hello as well. Give me that boy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so yes, definitely check them out in the description below. Let them know that Nick sent you, and the thank you again for letting me test out your share. So with that, have a good one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.